Hello, and welcome to The Listening Room, a spirituality podcast brought to you by SpiritSourceConnect.com. My name is Suzanne Goulet, and in each episode, I'll be speaking to you about new spirituality and how you can use it to improve your daily life. By offering you insights, tools, and techniques, you'll become more aware of your connection to a higher power and begin to accelerate your path to a life of greater joy, ease, and flow. Enjoy! Primarily what I do is to teach people how to connect with their higher selves and to do this regularly. Really, my challenge is to stay in that state 24-7 if I can. It's not always possible, obviously. But even when I'm engaged, for instance, in some very technical computer work, which I have, uh, you know, quite a lot of. I'm a bit of a nerd in that way. I still use my spiritual connection to guide me in all of my activities, in all of my decision-making, right down to the very second. I'm always asking what is the highest and best decision for me to be making right now. What is the highest and best activity for me to be engaged in right now? What are some things that I can be doing to be improving my health right now and continually intending the highest best in all areas of our lives is how we can continually be receiving messages on what steps to take and this is how we change the world it is one conflict resolved at a time whatever healing we are doing within We are expanding the greater whole in exactly that area of focus. Even if you're, for instance, say a musician and you're learning the violin and you're really stuck in this certain aspect and you've tried and you tried and tried and you still can't get beyond it. As you work through it and you become more accomplished, You are assisting so many more musicians, not particularly with that aspect of violin playing, but you are assisting so many other musicians and artists and craftspeople stick to whatever is challenging them and to get through it. As you have breakthroughs, so do so many others that are connected with you that you have no idea where they are or who they are. For instance, if you're healing your money woes, you assist in healing the money woes or in making the path a little bit smoother for so many others as well. In your relationships, as you learn how to forgive more easily, you open the path for a little more ease for others to do so as well. And so it follows, if you're taking great strides in healing past pains or traumas, you are making it a little smoother for others to do so as well. It doesn't mean that you're doing it for them, for they'll still need to express their own desired intent to heal. But healing becomes possible, ever more possible, because all of the others that have ventured forward, braved these realms, bushwhacked through those uncharted territories to come to a place of their own peace. And now the path is cleared. And those that follow behind you can see the way clearer for them to walk forward and do the same. You know, we're not going to be able to end wars when we're continually thinking that these wars will never end. We want to first address, you know, how are we in conflict within already? And then send some positive intentioning out to that area that we're concerned about. But we must begin to look within our own inner reflection of what we are seeing out there and see what it is within us that is triggered when we are seeing global tragedies and wars. 
even if it's something in your local community that you're witnessing that really tugs at you, how is this reflecting a similar heart within? Just ask yourself that. Here is where we can be of assistance to heal and evolve those energies latent within us that are triggered by these events. This isn't an easy thing to do, but it is what we are being called to do. Otherwise, you would not have attracted it into your own awareness. Whatever is triggering you emotionally is something that you have attracted in so that you can heal and evolve it. God or the universe or the all that is calls us to evolve ourselves constantly and to live up to our role here on earth at these times, to expand God, expand the oneness in its experience and evolution. If you're here on the planet at this time, you have been called to assist in expanding the frequencies and the energies and raising them up. It's not enough to just witness tragedies and to send money, although that is easy to do, or to feel bad and talk about it with others. It's time to go within and look at what it is we are holding in our own energy system that is part of what is manifesting out there in the world. The wars that we have going on don't seem to have any end. We're calling it a war on terrorism, for instance. But as all of us know in the personal and spiritual development arenas, that waging war against anything will take a very long time to eradicate it. This backlash against the U.S. is representative of our own backlash against ourselves, our own sense of expanded freedom and prosperity. What energies are you holding within yourself that are at war with your own expandedness? In A Course in Miracles, we're shown that we are at war with our own God selves. That is powerful beyond belief. But we have taken on beliefs that we are small, weak, and helpless, that we are damned and we are doomed. Although that is not how you might feel consciously, subconsciously there are often all types of characters in there telling you how worthless you are. I encourage you to have a chat with those characters, and after hearing what they have to say, we shall love and embrace the hurts and bring them on into the fold of greatness of who we are. They are only little pieces of fear, fear that we are no one and nothing, and they keep us ever striving, when in actuality, the light and the power entrusted in us at birth is always ever present and waiting eagerly to bring more. You know, the light is always coming through us. It is always pouring through. And as we heal and evolve our resistances, we allow light to come in and we continue to transform the energies of the world. We are inextricably linked with all aspects around the globe. And as we look within, we can learn how to heal and evolve them. This is Suzanne, and I want to thank you for listening. If you enjoyed this program and would like to receive a free gift, please visit SpiritSourceConnect.com. Thank you.